failure. George Ryan from our governor of Illinois said, I am haunted by the demon of error, error in determining guilt, and error in determining who among the guilty deserves to die. This means that capital punishment is hypocritical. There is not always a way to, find, to definitely prove that someone is guilty. Therefore, we are killing many innocent people every day. How is this a good method when you may be killing innocent people? Therefore, resolve that capital punishment should be reinstated throughout the entire United States should not be put into effect. It is barbaric and violates the cruel and unusual clause in the Bill of Rights. This is the Eighth Amendment says that the U.S. Constitution prevents any use of the cruel and unusual punishment. Whether it's a firing squad, electric chair, gas chamber, lethal injection, or lethal gas chamber. It is all barbaric. Especially when, sometimes, as found through endless amounts of research, there are pictures of people being hanged in front of a group of people. Next, Iris even said herself that putting people through the death penalty is very, very costly, even to the taxpayers. Most people don't realize that carrying out one death sentence costs two to five times more than keeping that same criminal in prison for the rest of his or her life because of the endless appeals. Some jury members are also reluctant to convict if it means putting someone to death. It sends a wrong message. Why kill people to kill people to show that killing is wrong? We as a society have to move away from an eye for an eye revenge mentality if civilization is to advance. Life in prison is a far worse punishment and more effective deterrent. The Texas Forensic Science Commission has received a report from a nationally known fire scientist that casts a doubt on the guilt of Cameron Todd Willingham, who was executed in Texas in February 2004. This man was executed, and then later, like a year, around a year later, they realized that he was innocent the whole time. His family has to go, had to go through all that trauma of his death when he was innocent and did nothing wrong. In conclusion, Iris was, sick, was being illogical and immoral when saying that through the use of the death penalty, justice will be served. That is because, like I previously quoted, Madama Gandhi, an Indian political and spiritual leader, said, an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. Also, how is capital punishment a good method when there is always a chance that you are killing innocent people? Not only that, at the same time, you will be violating the Eighth Amendment about cruel and unusual punishment. Also, when punishing someone for murder, killing them is hypocritical. Spending your entire life in prison is a much better punishment because at least then the guilty person is actually suffering, and that way the Eighth Amendment is not being broken. Who would even have the heart to murder someone um, as a punishment? Not me. Thank you.